Mark Rogers TV on the Penn State football scandal. You know, sometimes in life, many of us are faced with a difficult situation, a difficult decision to make. Sometimes the decision's difficult because we just have no idea what to do. But there are other times when right and wrong are clear. There is no doubt right versus wrong, but it's still a difficult decision to make because it's human nature to take the path of least resistance. It's human nature to avoid an uncomfortable situation, a vulnerable position, whether it be at home or at work. Joe Paterno was faced with that type of decision and he failed to do the right thing. He not only failed once, he continuously failed day after day after day for years to do the right thing. Make no mistake about it here, Joe Paterno is not a criminal. Jerry Sandusky committed the alleged crime, and if he did it, it was despicable, disgusting, unthinkable. By protocol, Joe Paterno did the right thing initially. He went to a superior. But when that superior, that so-called superior, did not act and act quickly and decisively, Joe Paterno failed. He should have contacted the authorities. He needed to do the right thing. And let's not make any mistake about it. Joe Paterno was the biggest name in college football across the country, and certainly in Pennsylvania, the biggest name, period. Bigger than the governor. And on that campus, where it's typically in college, the president, the AD, then the head football coach, it was clearly Paterno with all the power, then the president, then the AD. He not only had the opportunity, he had the obligation to make a very big wrong a right. He failed. Why? Only Joe Paterno can answer that question. Was it pride because the Penn State brand was at stake? The Penn State football name, the pristine Beyond reproach, Penn State football brand at stake would have been soiled, tarnished, and tainted. Was it apathy that he just didn't care, or was it loyalty to Sandusky? I don't know. Again, only Joe Paterno knows. But he failed, failed to do what's right. He could have stopped it. He could have kicked Sandusky off campus. He had that kind of power at Penn State. But now... Joe Paterno's reputation is gone, his legacy gone, ruined. More importantly though, justice has been delayed and much more important than that, young boys have been violated and may never be the same. They've probably been scarred for life and Joe Paterno could have stopped it. He could have done the right thing, he did not. We all, as people, as individuals, have the obligation to do the right thing, especially in a place as Joe Paterno found himself with that kind of power, the power to protect the innocent, to defend the innocent, and to do the right thing. Once again, Joe Paterno failed. The winningest coach in college football history failed, failed as a person, failed repeatedly. Those are my thoughts. Would love to hear from you on this subject on Mark Rogers TV.